Welcome back to Data Shark Academy. Often there will be situations that you need to update some existing records in destination relational database. For instance, if a customer moved to another address, then his address records should be updated instead of export to fail. To handle such kind of use cases, Scoop offers two directives, update key and update mode. The update key is the column to use for identifying the record. Most likely this will be the primary key in your table. The second directive update mode has two different values. First value is allow insert, which means if there is no matching key, insert this as a new record. And the second value is update only, which means that only update matching key records. This is the default mode by the way. So let's see this in action using allow insert. Bring the terminal up. All right. So first let's take a look at what we have on the MySQL side. So we have this table employee CTC nodes. And from our last exercise, we only have one record left in it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the export again with update key and mode as allow insert and see what happens okay so let's run the export table will be employee cpc notes this is our mysql table update key is employee id which is the primary key and update mode is allow insert all right i need the list of columns also and input fields terminated by So I have to use input fields terminated by pipe because I have some records which are using comma as part of the values like I showed you in some of the previous lessons. If your data is not like that, you don't need to define it and you can go by the default setting which is comma. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, so map process has started. So I have noticed that in some of the cases I have to use a driver in some of the cases I don't. I think it is something specific to the setup I have on my computer. Try this out on your end. If you see some error coming for the same commands that are successful on my side and you are getting the error, try to first remove the driver from that uh, command and try it again. Okay. Uh, in most cases, this will work. So now this process has finished. It has exported 1000 records. Let's see what do we have on the MySQL side. So let's put some limit here. So as you see that we have loaded the data, okay? So what it did was it did not fail the transaction, right? To some extent, it is similar to the staging concept like we learned before. But what it is doing here is that if some record is existing, then update that record. And if the record is not existing, then insert it. It's called upset transaction, okay? So try this out on your end. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next class.